now because from G's Glove Works again. We're going to be doing a, uh, a little work on this super used trapeze glove, uh, Rawlings. Very, very cool. It looks like Eddie Matthews uh, model. Very cool. Um, this thing has seen better days, so we're going to hook it up with some fresh new uh, chocolate binding on it. Um, this glove is coming from my good friend Chris at the uh, Arizona Glove Lab. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna look pretty sick. And so stay tuned, I'm gonna post a little bit of work that we're gonna be doing on it and then uh, throwing some pointers here and there. All right, we got all the lace off. Now see the kids screaming in the background. That's my, my kids. Um, got the lace off, next step is to remove all the binding. Um, this stuff is pretty worn out, if you can tell. It's uh, pretty gross. Uh, this is vinyl right here, not leather. It's gonna be a bitch to take off. Um, just gotta be really, really delicate with it. Um, I use kind of a really uh, indelicate method. Use box cutter with a brand new razor for every glove and just gently trace along the bottom seam or bottom stitch like that. And then flip it over when you get done and then you're gonna remove the top stitch. Now that's if there's an inverted stitch. Like this one should come out pretty easy because this is just a single stitch. So single stitch, you can see there's a stitch here and it just goes straight through. Most modern gloves, it's an inverted stitch. So there's two stitches on it. So you gotta do the bottom stitch, flip it over, then do the internal stitch. So stay tuned. All right, so we're done taking off the binding now. Um, I figured I'd come in a little bit close for this. So all the bindings off. Uh, it was actually incredibly easy. Uh, the vinyl one kind of just fell off essentially. Uh, I did notice, so we'll probably address this uh, with the owner. Um, this absolutely needs to get repaired. There's a pretty dried out hole. It's an easy fix. Um, shouldn't take much, much effort. However, uh, all the binding came off. This is a really cool glove. Um, the leather's just got a really cool feel to it. Um, real, real hardy, uh, kind of just, you don't feel gloves like this nowadays anymore, except for the interior. The interior kind of feels like shit, but the shell looks really good. Feels really good. Um, so the last thing before you start slapping new binding on, at least for us, the way we do stuff is you got to take off all this thread and it may see, seem very simple. And so I'm sure maybe comment below with uh, ways that you've come up to remove the thread super easy. Um, I've had people like, oh, just use a uh, stitch remover. It doesn't work like that. This is dual bonded or double bonded nylon upholstery thread. It's thick as shit and it is hard. So one thing that I did, I took one of my son from a long time ago, one of his baby spoons. I took a heavy duty uh, industrial sewing machine needle and melted it into it, kind of prison style shiv. And I just go around and take out like that because it's so, the stitch uh, tension is so tight when you're sewing leather that the threads are pretty deep in there. I don't know if deep is the right word, but it's nylon thread, it's heavy duty, and sometimes it's a bitch to, come, to take off. Sometimes it's easy on these old gloves with years of sweat and dirt and dust on them, um, they're usually a bitch. So we go around remove all the thread and then we'll be good to slap on some new binding. See you in a bit. All right, we're back. All the, for the most part, the thread is off. There's some couple strays here. We'll pick those off as we go. But it's important to do that so this way we have a good clean stitch line um, going around. Uh, there's a couple strays here and there, nothing crazy, but for the most part, that's what the aftermath looks like. All right, we're back. About to start stitching this guy up. So, these little binder clips, some people make fun of me online for it, but uh, these are a lifesaver. So, obviously, like all my other videos, rough side skyward. Um, we're gonna start with this part here because uh, this is the most awkward uh, portion. So I figured I'd get the most hardest, difficult portion out. Oh, you can see that. So uh, right here, the fingers, the six finger portion. So rough side skyward, all right. 
have, I use the binder clips to hold it down. It's kind of like a, th a third hand. Right. And I have my stitch setting on a, on a three. Uh, I want to say that's a 16th of an inch. Um, roundabouts, so we're gonna get it going. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so one thing I've learned is to keep the binding as flat and tight as possible up against the base leather, so the shell. Um, if you let it loose when you flip it over, it's going to have an ass load of wrinkles, and it's not going to look... Uh, I mean, the job will be done, the glove will be binded together. However, it's just not going to look very aesthetically pleasing. So I recommend trying to keep it as flat as possible and, uh, and tight up against the, the leather. And also, there's much nuances to it. The thickness of the leather, the type of leather, uh, and the type of leather that you're mounting it to uh, really does play an effect. So just keep that in mind, and uh, I'll see you here in a bit. Okay, just to recap what we're doing. Rough side up along the edge of the glove leather. I'm just gonna keep about an eighth of an inch from the edge. And go. All right, we're back. And we're all done with this guy. Came out really good. I mean, we kind of are proud of this one. So when I say we, I mean me. A little bougie with the LaCroix over there. So we're going to say we. Came out beautiful. Nice solid stitch line along the sixth finger here. Very good. This turn right here, we're get, I'm getting better at it. Um, some gloves it comes out perfect, some gloves it doesn't. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is. But this one, this glove overall, considering how old and worn out it is, um, and the, just how soft the leather is, I figured it was going to be a lot harder to get this binding, binding, which is a really, really, I think it's one ounce leather, to wrap around. There wasn't much structure to, to tack it down to. But it turned out great. I mean, one of our one of my best jobs. Um, but yeah, and then had to do an additional repair on the uh, on this right here. But yeah, came out great. Let me know what you think.